front end using Visual Studio 2010 and language is C sharp. Alright, we'll, let's go there. Alright, speed fast. Alright, create a new project. And Windows Form application, and you can name it whatever you want. In this occasion, I'm going to name it as um, Oracle Test. Okay. Alright, we'll show the Win Form here. It's pretty much simple. Alright, so in order to work with the Oracle 11G, uh, we need to add a reference. To add the reference, you have to go to the project, add reference, put the .NET components, and the components just uh, click one somewhere here, and then this is a quick way, just press the O, then you will get the Oracle Data Access class, which is default, I mean, which is default installed when you install the 11G. You can see the folder, and this is the Data Access DLL which is allows to communicate with the uh, the Oracle database. So just click Oracle Data Access model here and click OK. So you will come to know that it's already coming to the here, your reference class. And uh, so I, I need to add one more thing here. I need to add a button. Just like this and uh, I need to get that uh, table I mean that that we have insert the data from the Oracle table um, I need to show it in in a grid view data grid view if you are working with the .NET you this is a very simple component Just like this so this is the button one all right my friends we can just Change the name. Okay, you can change to get data. All right, let's go into the button click event. By double click it, you can go to the button click event. Uh, first of all, you need to uh, uh, import import that Oracle data access class into the our class. So using Oracle. Sorry. Dot dot access dot client. This is the model which allows us to communicate with the Oracle database as the backend. All right. Now here you need to create an Oracle connection string. So there are basically uh, two ways that we can create Oracle connection string. So I'll show you the. I'll show you all all the two ways. So this is the first one. I'll show you. I have already created the connection string. I'll show you how to. I'll explain all the parameters and how it works. All right. So here, this is the bit complex one. I mean, this is more accurate and this is more secure one because if you are if you are computer having multiple um, services running and different ports. That's why I show you this Oracle service um, ports and the listening things because you need to keep save this thing because if otherwise you can't uh, communicate with the Oracle data listener here. Here you can see the protocol is TCP and the host is local host and the port is 1521. So you can see here the 1521 is the Oracle database listener. So if you are losing this data, you can't communicate with the server. So this is the way you have to uh, write down the connection string. And the server is dedicated. The X is the Oracle 11G server name. And the database is testDB. That's the one I show you that we created earlier in the Oracle environment. And the password is test123. So now, and you, and I think you guys know how to 
open the connection once you have established the connection string property just call the open connection property here so now pretty much we are ready to fire it up and we'll see what's happening you click the get data button all right so if you click the data button it's working because there's nothing coming in exceptions nothing is coming up so seems that's working all right it's good all right so next step is to populate the data from the from the uh, oracle table into the dotnet application into the our uh, data grid view all right so it's pretty much straightforward pretty much easy nothing to uh, worry about the yeah, how to pull up the data is pretty much easy this is the way it's really easy really uh, understandable just create a data set and create oracle data adapter and you have to choose which data which rows sorry the which columns you have to pull up which from which table so you know the table name is the student and then in in this moment i'm going to grab all the data from the student table this is the select all from student and you have to pass this connection string property through the uh, in order to grab the data from the student table the con is the connection string here that we have created to connect with the oracle database and the other one other step is to you have to fill the uh, data adapter with the data set and and by filling that you can just easily uh, put the data into the data source as the the table name is zero or else you can give it here the student as the table name that's it pretty much so now we are ready to fire it up and we'll see if it's working or not all right get data oh here it's we are coming it's coming it's coming perfectly so you can see all the column names student id student name student address and the data inside the table all right the other way i'm going to show you the next step how to connect with the uh, oracle database the second option uh, that's pretty much straightforward again um, that's the simple method how to connect with the uh, Oracle. So if you are just a basic user, you can use just the database name and the password and the source is XC. So this is the second way you can communicate with the Oracle database to establish the connection with the database. Um, You have to just modify here, otherwise it don't recognize. It's pretty much easy. Let's create a connection and pass the parameters as it is. That's it, my friends. And we don't need no longer this statement. All right, so as you can see in this string, query string, it will only takes the user ID, password, and the data source. But in the previous one, it's a bit complicated and it's more secure, more accurate. And you can specific the port number because if you are running multiple services in your laptop or your desktop, so it, it is the more uh, um, complex version of the query string all right so we'll start the application again and we'll see whether it's working with the simple query string yes it's working so i will show you both ways how to connect to this uh, sql sorry the oracle database and pull up the data and show it to a data grid view into a in the windows form application and this is pretty much I have in my tutorial today. So if you are really interesting and if you if you found this is a valuable and useful video or tutorial to you, 
please subscribe to my youtube channel channel and i look forward to see you on my next videos thanks for watching and have a nice one thank you